We started Project Rocket when we were pretty fresh out of high school ourselves because we were really sick and tired of seeing the way the bullying was just destroying the lives of our peers. So back in 2006, when we started Project Rocket, uh, bullying was a really big issue. Bullying is still a really big issue now. Uh, but back then, we just there, there was such a lack of anything youth-driven or that actually elevated young people's voices and perspectives on the is, on this really massive issue. We were sitting there, kind of thinking about how someone should do something about this issue, and realised that we're two someones, we're fresh out of school, we're pretty close to the demographic that we want to be working with, and decided that we may as well give it a go. We had no idea if it was going to work because there was nothing like Project Rocket around at the time. It is a complete utter surprise to both of us, mm. I can speak confidently, that Project Rocket is such a force that it's now a mm. movement. When we started out, we definitely had no intention to launch a career or an organisation. We just pretty simply wanted to see change on this issue. We wanted mm. to do the work. We saw that there was no way this issue of bullying is going to change unless it's put back in the hands of the people it affects mm. the most, and that's young people. From the moment that we had the idea and the decision went forward to start Project Rocket, we then split off into two separate steps. The first was that we had to work out how to run a business and Google provided heaps of the answers to those questions that were looming around, around that stuff. The next step was to actually work out these workshops, mm. you know, to start designing the content, approaching schools, piloting them to find out if they were impactful, if they worked, and trying to create some evaluation around this work that we were creating as we went. The Project Rocket workshops were actually really resonating with young people. We saw young people uniting, like lights going on, having aha moments, coming up to us after the workshop, hungry for more. You know, we heard from teachers after we left a school that, you know, students were being more respectful, they were standing up for each other more, that bullying wasn't as big of an issue. And we started to think, hang on, I think we're onto something here. Like, this is really having a difference in schools. So fast forward a few years and we'd been running the project here in Melbourne, we realised that what we'd created was so much more powerful than just a random sister duo, that we owed it to the young people that we'd been collecting and forming in this movement. We owed it to actually turn Project Rocket into an organisation that could sustain and grow in schools all across Australia, and that meant we had to find our team. We started getting call-outs from all over Australia um, and are sending our team out on the road to run workshops in Wangaratta or Fremantle or Atherton or Cairns. But also, even with our growing team, we couldn't re reach the demand. Uh, and that's when we decided to start using technology as a tool to reach people in all corners of this country. At that point, we received a social innovations grant from Telstra to build Project Rocket Online, um, which takes all of the creativity and the youth-driven approach and the learning and just the fun of a Project Rocket workshop and it packages it into an online platform. And so that's Project Rocket Online. Once that was out there and, and that was our first experience of building a tech, tech tool for good, we got a call from Google and YouTube who wanted to help us out by partnering on our own YouTube series called Project Rocket TV, uh, which is free, accessible to, to everyone. Just last year, Facebook and Instagram announced that they'd be investing a million dollars into Project Rocket so that we can roll out a brand new program called the Digital Ambassadors Initiative that sees our young team travel across Australia to transform 10,000 students into Australia's first generation of digital ambassadors who are basically united and ready to stand up, tackle online hate and build a kinder, better digital world for all of us. Project Rocket isn't about broadcasting what Ro and I think about the world or what we want to see. Actually, it's about using the platform that we've created to elevate young people's perspectives into the global conversation. As uh, Given that we've had the experience growing up of feeling like we weren't heard or feeling like we were spoken down to or patronised as young people, that's just such an incredible reward to know that this thing that we've created is able to give voice to so many different people. Mm -hmm.